you decided that you were going to follow this journey on the wing as well. You flew a paramotor from Arctic Russia to the United Kingdom. Just for anybody who hasn't figured yeah. that out yet watching <laughs> us, this is this is the really miraculous part about this. But yeah. what, what made you decide to go down such a dramatic route? Because it, it is a dramatic journey for the swans, let alone for a, a person who is not, you know, evolved to fly. Doesn't have wings and feathers. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what brought that about? So it was, so I basically, I had looked at it and I thought, okay, you've got this amazing story. That's the one that you need to hook people in with. And um, I, I did, I, so I knew that hunters were going to be one of our interest groups. And I grew up some of the time around the community I was talking about in Eden has got lots of hunters there. And I thought, you know, lots of them are, are not bad people. Um, they are, uh, you need to just engage them in a, in a different way on an issue of shooting. So what kind of stories would attract them? And I was like, I can't think of any that wouldn't want to hear the story of, that incredible journey if you can bring it to life in the right way and I looked at putting little cameras on birds I looked at virtually doing it with tags and cameramen on the ground and things like that and um, then I just realized the logistics of that were all were all too difficult and it wasn't till I found myself flying um, doing some aerial photography with um, over over one of the big wetlands that have been recreated in the UK and realized that I was actually with my new wing I was doing the same speed as Hope and the other swans when they're recorded crossing the English Channel that's the kind of straightest most direct line where we can measure true speed and I, yeah, I was flying at about the same speed and that I think was the start of this little ridiculous idea going could you just actually go and fly the whole route with them and then I thought actually it's got so many benefits okay logistically that sounds crazy but you suffer many of the same threats as the birds you can fly at the same altitudes the same kind of speeds um, you also some of them are different but you still need to be constantly on the lookout for safe places to stop and land and uh, refuel of course refueling is a different thing and um, but the most important thing is possibly that no matter where you land with a paramotor um, particularly I think if you're female when I take my helmet off and people see that I'm can see that I'm a woman um, the, different, the, the reaction changes somewhat um, but people's instant reaction is generally like oh my god where have you come from isn't it dangerous and how can I help? And I thought that is the perfect introduction to a conversation about more people helping us out with, um, with, uh, with the conservation of, of swans. So that's, that's, where it all, that's, where, that's where it all came from. 